Hey guys, it's Whitney B and today we're going to be doing a product review and demo on the Dr. Jart Plus Rubber Mask Series. It's a face mask series that constitutes of four different kinds. There's a, there's a gray one there, hey. So we'll be going over just the basic details of the product first and then we'll do a demo and kind of give you my thoughts on it. I have used one already because I wanted to try this off camera. I've heard that if you're too forceful with the mask, they rip and I ain't about to rip these expensive masks on YouTube. No, I'll rip it in silence where I can cry by myself and you can't see me cry. So Dr. Jart Plus is a Korean brand. Um, Cost-wise, each mask is 12 bucks, which is hella expensive, right? A normal sheet mask is like two to five. Is That's where I enjoy spending money for a sheet mask, two to five, just a one step. It's a little bit more expensive because of two things. The products are separated. You have the essence that you put on your face here in a little tub, which I'll show you in closer detail when we put it on. And then you have the actual rubber mask, which is a two-piece set. So it makes sense that it's going to be more expensive but at this point, I don't know if it's worth the extra expense. So we'll try one of those today. And then I'll tell you which each version is and what they're supposed to do. So the pink one, like I mentioned, is for moisturizing. Um, it's going to help improve the elasticity and reduce aging. So that's where the pink one focuses on. I did this the first day that I bought it. And I liked it. It was interesting. I'll put in a little picture of what I looked like. I look like the villain from Strong Woman. Dang Bung Sun, to be honest. <laughs> I scared myself. The second one is Bright Lover, and it's a bright yellow, which is kind of cute. Um, it visibly brightens the look of skin undertones. Brightening is a huge thing in Korean skincare culture. They really like good, beautiful, clean, clear looking skin. Um, the blue one is the Hydration Lover. It is going to soothe and moisturize dry skin. So pretty plain. It's cute that it's blue like water. And then the clear skin lover, which is what we're doing today, is supposed to help acne, tighten and deep cleanse pores. It's gray. I feel like gray is a pretty good color for acne treatments because it's like charcoal. So those are the four in the series. I bought mine at Sephora for 12 bucks a piece. You can get them on Amazon and other websites online. Let's just go ahead and do this. All right. So you open up the package, you notice this little square piece that was popping up before comes out. That's the actual essence that's going to go on your face. And then you have a pretty standard packaging for the face mask. So the two pieces of rubber face mask are in here. So we will go ahead and get started. One, get your hair out of your face. You don't want to spend all that money on this face mask and then mask your hair. Let's be real. So we're going to open that up and put that on our face. Um, you want to concentrate this where you have the most skin issue, but they actually give you a lot of products. So you don't have to like pitifully try to place it on only important places. You've got so much product in here, like nah, just go ahead and go for it. Um, this texture, like I, let me see if I can show you. It's like wiggly, like wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's like rubber itself too. So you just mush it down in your hands and then it goes on just fine. So the mask covers the entire face. So put this medicine everywhere you would normally have a face mask on, which is everywhere. So you're gonna do your forehead, you're gonna make sure you get down the sides of your face. I have a, like a huge little pimple chilling around my forehead. So we're gonna drown that little piece of poo out. Then you get this on your nose, which is where my congested pores tend to stay on my face. And then I'm going to focus it right on my chin. And right here, because my pores are pretty big right around the nose area. All right, so now that you have that applied everywhere on your face, we're gonna go ahead and open up the mask part. And we have our two pieces. So the question is, right, do you do the top or bottom first? I feel like that's more like a chicken and an egg question. Just put it on whatever you want first. I'm gonna put the top half on, um, because in my mind, placement's a little more important there. And I'm gonna look like Zorro. I'm gonna look just wonderful. If the crease is pointed outwards, that's where it goes. 
So you literally take this and apply it. Oh, it, oh, it, oh, it's, it, it adheres very well. Oh, I have a pretty big nose. I have a very tall bridge, and this covers my nose like almost completely. So that's impressive. Um, it doesn't quite get all of my forehead, but it got that one pimple, so that's all I care about. So it goes on. It sticks really well. Like I'm not. I don't have any complaints for that one. <gasps> Look at that little hair I'm trying to get in there. Then we'll do the same thing on the bottom half. You just apply it to your face. I can see why they say that these can rip because if you try to change it, like move it around while it's still on your face, it's like suction cut on there, so it'd probably rip a little bit. Oh God. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna get that down. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so you leave this on, let's see how much they recommend, 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm um, a little bit longer standard instructed time for a face mask, usually it's 15 to 20. So we will leave this on for 30 to 40 and I will come back and let you know what I think. Okay, so it has been about 40 minutes. So I put the mask on, we're gonna go ahead and take it off, which it just comes off easy peasy. All right. And then pat in the remaining med. Mm. All right, so <laughs> immediately the um, pores on my nose look less no noticeable. Noticeable. <laughs> look at me throwing puns in. Um, my blackheads, like I can't see them as well. And the same thing around my chin. So that's actually kind of impressive. I don't know how long that'll last though. Like probably tomorrow I'll wake back up and the black hats have made the return. They've come back home, but they're, they're pretty diminished right now. So that's nice. I think it's, it is a good mask. Okay. I like how it's made. I like how it's packaged. Um, the point of a rubber mask is that it's supposed to stop the essence from evaporating. So you put it on your face, you put the rubber mask on and it's supposed to keep that, um, whatever type of essence it has on there on your face the entire time and it works I mean I still have a lot of it left on my face um, and then the product actually recommends if you have extra from that little tub I didn't I put all of it on here if you have extra you can put it other places put it down your neck or anywhere else that you might have congested pores for that particular mask so overall it is a good mask I like it I probably will repurchase it when I'm feeling really fancy but for my everyday mask I'm not spending $12 like I can't I can't justify it but if you want to give it a go I definitely liked the gray one and I liked the pink one a lot um, I haven't tried the other two the blue and yellow but I assume they're all gonna work pretty well so thank you for watching this quick review if you have any questions leave them down below don't forget to like subscribe and comment the traditional YouTube closing, right? All right, thank you. Does it do anything to this pimple? I think psychologically, I want to say yes, but in reality, I don't think it changed that pimple. See, it rips. It ripped. I don't even remember ripping it. <laughs>